We turn now to the 60th Annual Primetime Emmy Awards being announced this morning. And handling the official duties are Neil Patrick Harris of the CBS hit comedy How I Met Your Mother and fellow West Sider Kristen Chenoweth, right, who's on a big oh, she's ABC on show. Pushing yeah. Daisies. Pushing Daisies, yeah. which I think will do well. Yeah. Joining me this morning to present the nominations are Kristen Chenoweth, currently co-starring in the ABC series Pushing Daisies, and Neil Patrick Harris, who co-stars in the CBS series How I Met Your Mother. Kristen, Neil, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, John. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good morning, everyone. Right. <clears throat> Kristen, ladies first. Thank you, Neil. <laughs> The nominations in the drama series category are Boston Legal, Damages, Dexter, House, <laughs> Lost, and Mad Men. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the nominations for lead actress in a drama series are Glenn Close, Damages, Sally Field, Brothers and Sisters, Mariska Hargitay, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, Holly Hunter, Saving Grace, and Kira Sedgwick, The Closer. The nominees for lead actor in a drama series are <laughs> Gabriel Byrne, In Treatment, Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad, Michael C. Hall, Dexter, John Hamm, Mad Men, <laughs> Hugh Laurie, House, and James Spader, Boston Legal. The made for television movie nominations are Bernard and Doris, Extras, the extra special series finale, The Memory Keeper's Daughter, A Raisin in the Sun, and Recount. The nominees for the mini series category are The Andromeda Strain, Cranford, Masterpiece Theater, John Adams, and Tin Man. The nominees for lead actress in a miniseries or a movie are Dame Judi Dench, Cranford, Masterpiece Theater, Catherine Keener, An American Crime, Laura Linney, John Adams, Felicia Rashad, A Raisin in the Sun, and Susan Sarandon, Bernard and Doris. The nominees for lead actor in a miniseries or a movie are Ray Fiennes, Bernard and Doris. Ricky Gervais, Extras, the Extra Special Series Finale, Paul Giamatti, John Adams, Kevin Spacey, Recount, and Tom Wilkinson, Recount. Here are this year's nominees for Reality Competition Program. The Amazing Race. We should do that next year. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. American Idol. I should do that one. Next year. You're in. I'm in. Dancing with the Stars. We're in, actually. <laughs> Project Runway. I'll do that next year. Okay. And Top Chef. <laughs> For lead actor in a comedy series, the nominees are Alec Baldwin, 30 Rock, Steve Carell, The Office, Lee Pace, Pushing Daisies, <laughs> sorry, Tony Shalhoub, Monk, and Charlie Sheen, Two and a Half Men. Kristen, this is a new category for this year's Emmys. Oh. Outstanding host for a reality or reality competition program. We get to do this. This is cool. This is a first. The nominees are Ooh. Tom Bergeron, Dancing with the Stars, Heidi Klum, Project Runway, Howie Mandel, Deal or No Deal, Jeff Probst, Survivor. I had a date with him. It's hot. He's totally cute. Maybe there'll be a second. No, he's nominated. marrying somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Too many jokes. And Ryan Seacrest, American Idol. The nominees for lead actress in a comedy series are Christina Applegate, Samantha Who, America Ferreira, Ugly Betty, Tina Fey, 30 Rock, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, The New Adventures of Old Christine, and Mary Louise Parker, Weeds. Uh, well, Kristen, yes. let's complete the announcements by bringing back John Schaffner to announce our final category. Thank you. Hey, John. Of course. Hello again. The nominations in the comedy series category are Curb Your Enthusiasm, Entourage, The Office, 30 Rock, and Two and a Half Men. 
Kristen, I have also some great news for you. You've been nominated for your performance as a supporting actress in Pushing Daisies. And there's more. Neil, you've also been nominated for your role as nice. a supporting actor in How I Met Your Mother. Swell. And trust me, we did not plan this, and we are very <laughs> delighted. Wait, You'll, hold on, hold on. We have a surprise for yes, you. Yes, we do. <laughs> this is the 60th uh, anniversary of the Emmys, and so we have a special surprise. Uh, yes. Just for oh, you. my and goodness. And listen, I would sing Happy Birthday, but it's not public domain, and the Emmys can't afford for me to sing that song. So. Well, what a, a pretty great Make a let's, wish. let's do it together. Yes. One, 60 two, more three. years. Oh, wow. Excellent. Joke candles. Yeah, right. Taking that, thank there you. There you go. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, Kristen Chenoweth, so charming. Those were fun. Usually they're really? serious and uh, stiff, but right, they made right. it fun this really, morning. Really, really good. Joining us now is Jess Cagle, early show entertainment contributor and executive editor of People Magazine. Very big titles, good morning. Exactly, but what I really want to know is more about the Kristen Chenoweth with Jeff Probst I romance. I know, I know. We have his number, so we'll be, be, we'll be We'll calling. find out more so about that. So what do you think, any surprises? Well, the, um, I, I think that the, uh, the thing going into this was how well are these cable networks going to do? Because you know, usually they, clean up. they, they yeah. did fantastic right. damages, you know, God, that's a fantastic FX drama that was nominated. If you, um, Sally Field, the actress drama, mm -hmm. this is uh, one of the big races, Sally Field, Glenn Close, mm -hmm. Kira Sedgwick. Yeah. It's a, you know, clash of the titans there. The big surprises are in the actor in a drama because Michael C. Hall, mm -hmm. who was Dexter. shut out last year, right. in Dexter, right. which is a fantastic show. Great show. And um, John Hamm, who actually could win. He could be the one who finally takes this away from James Spader. Ah. He's in Mad Men, yeah. and that's an amazing show. The other one is, how many nominations are there for John Adams? 23 <laughs> nominations for John Adams. <laughs> Holy cow. Which is, so HBO didn't do as well as it usually does, because yes. you know The Sopranos is gone and all right. of that. Yeah. But the, um, the, they did fine with their, their mini series. Curb got yeah. a nomination. What one about of our favorite that, that new category, reality show host? Reality show me. host. This was interesting because it was, of course, wide open. You know, yeah. nobody mm -hmm. ever won it before. So we ended up with Tom Bergeron, mm -hmm. obviously. Jeff Probst. We're glad to see him. Yeah. Julie got jobbed. <laughs> I know. She totally. We're I was really hoping. I was Julie's rooting for Julie, right. the Chen bot, yeah, as she is known. Exactly. <laughs> the big surprise to me was Howie Mandel. He wasn't yeah. on anybody's shortlist. Ty Pennington, Phil mm. Kogan, Tyra yeah. Banks, those, right. those, those three were all shut out. Yeah. And Amazing Race got nominated again. It has won that category every single year yeah. since that started. It has, it has swept its category, what, five years in a row? I know, it always but now beats. now there are so many really good reality shows, like Top Chef. And right. We, we love but Top Chef. But you know what? Re Amazing Race this year is up against the okay. same uh, reality shows that it was up against last year. Mm -hmm. um, Idol, Dancing with the okay. Stars, Project Runway, and Top Chef. It's still right. the best. I mean, it's so well done. It's really well done. Neil Patrick Harris, who just announced the Emmy nominations, joins us. He was nominated himself. Look hey. at the smile. You know what Barney would say? How's it going? Awesome. It's legendary, this. Legend <laughs> awesome works as well. Had you any Absolutely. idea, had you any inkling? Because normally they wouldn't ask you to present if they thought they were, if you thought, right? I, yeah. Well, you know, they asked us to present like two months ago, well before anything, anyone had filled out their ballots. So mm -hmm. my fear was that we'd be standing up there and that wouldn't happen. But we got to rehearse it before and that part wasn't in it where they said that we were nominated, so yeah. they sort of left us in the dark. Wow. So nice. Oh, wow. so it's, it's a nice morning. When yeah. you wake up at, at 3 o'clock in the morning to announce this stuff on the West Coast, it's, it's, it's a nice uh, silver lining for yeah. sure. Yeah, we wake up at 3 and we don't get anything no. like that. <laughs> you don't get enough. <laughs> but hey, I know it's your third, nomin <laughs> third nomination, right? Hopefully second. this time's the Just I mean, my second. This is your second? Yes, Today's? yes. Last year and this year. Oh, okay. So you're due. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's Lost four other cats in the competition, oh, so we'll see. There you go. May I also say, I thought you and Kristen Chenoweth, very charming, very funny. The maybe, maybe setting a new standard for awards, nominations, presentations. Wow. Well, thank you so much. That's that's quite the compliment. I'm a big fan of her work. Yeah, she Maybe we could do man. something on the stage together someday. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Well, I think it's actually going to be a new there. category next year on the Emmys. 
is award <laughs> wow. show nomination presentations. Well, well these, you, these were the best. Year yeah, that you I have was. a lock. You got a yeah, lock. For this year, we're a, we're a lock, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we have a fellow nominee on the phone right now, John Cryer. Hey, John. Hey there. How hey. are you this morning? John, congratulations. Hey, you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. really awesome. I, I, I have to be you. quiet because my eight-year-old son is asleep in the next room. Oh. <laughs> so don't scream. From another uh, CBS Monday really night Really good TV. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm very excited that you're announcing that there's going to be the award show awards next year, which I'm very excited yeah. about. <laughs> My fingers are crossed, really. Yeah. <laughs> so we asked Neil what his character Barney would say. What would Alan Cryer say? Because he's so uptight, he probably wouldn't even be happy about this nomination. Um, no, he's, he's wound pretty tight. <laughs> um, uh, it would be pretty remarkable if, uh, if uh, Alan uh, was nominated for an Emmy. Uh, especially Steve being that he's a chiropractor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, uh, but uh, he, he did manage a smile, I'm sure. Uh, and your co-star was uh, nominated as well. Very funny shows on Monday night on CBS. You guys, uh, you know, could collect some hardware here. I think they will. Yeah. Hey, it's it's worth promoting, at least, yeah. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Neil Patrick Harris, John Cryer, thank you very, very much for being along with us this morning. Congratulations. Good luck on the Emmys. They're coming up very soon. Thanks. Thanks, thank guys. Any final thoughts from the big I'm, nominations this I'm, morning? I'm so glad that Michael C. Hall and John Hamm got in there. I think it means that the Emmys are kind of opening it up, not so traditional. Good sign. There you go. Thanks for being here, Jess, and bringing all your papers that yeah, you look keep at everything. Oh, man. It's all right here. It's all locked in. <laughs>